once again. This is Valerie from Dragon Soul. I told you I'd be releasing some more guild work uh, videos. This one I actually stumbled across uh, by accident when I was looking for a way to block the RMT spammers, also known as guild spammers in game. It really takes up a lot of my chat space, my box especially, because I have three different chats set up and each one is separated. The only problem is they're always whispering so it really makes it hard to see if somebody whispers me in return. Um, so when I went looking for this I found that there is a method to use guild work to eliminate these chats, these whispers that you get constantly, these annoying things. And uh, of course the what I used is my own uh, modifications to the code that I used. Uh, it was too simple and didn't really eliminate everything. What I have used actually has eliminated pretty much all the whispers. So here we go, let's get started. Um, first things first, you will need to make sure you have your guild work account logged in. Um, if you don't have an account, there is a video you will be able to see at the end of this one that uh, shows you how to sign up for your guild work account. The difference is it doesn't show you how to download. Once you register, just go to guildwork.com slash client slash settings and uh, go ahead and download now. It'll automatically save the setup file. Go ahead and run it, install. It'll automatically start. Nothing else has to be done from there. Once you do that, go back to the settings page, the same one, guildwork.com slash client slash settings and here you're gonna scroll down it has some nifty little features I mean just take a look at all this premium stuff you can get uh, duty finder notifications hunt notifications I mean even if uh, you have a mobile app for guild work you can get it pushed to your phone um, unfortunately I really don't have the app I, I don't use my phone all that much I mean I'll use it when I'm out and about but that's about it uh, right now I have enabled fate notifications and it works wonders. It lets me know in the area I'm in the fates that are coming up when they start and when they finish. That way I'm not wasting my time running halfway across the map for no reason. But what we're going to do is from the top scroll all the way down to find chat filter patterns. Now here you will see this is where I originally got it from. Um, really talks a lot. Doesn't give the code. You have to download this file, this text file, and really, let's just eliminate that. I'm going to give you the code. So we'll go to our site here. Now, I'm pretty sure you saw our video here or not, but you can also look in the description of the uh, YouTube video. But you're going to copy all of this code, highlight it, control, copy, control C, you know, the normal. Um, you go back over here in your chat filter patterns, hit that just copy and just paste it into the box and as you can tell it's posted it all there and let's go ahead and stretch this out I wanted to give you a little exp explanation of it all because I know many people would probably be scratching their head okay this is what's used in guild work is um, a reference uh, nothing's encrypted when it's sent through messages it's all uh, text-based plain text okay now this is just a filter it uses uh, I don't know, hard to explain. It uses a reference it, it, because of how the chat is. It's, you can't just automatically hit, just put in the 1000 and it find it. You actually have to tell the system what to do. So the period, the star, the question mark, it all tells it to look on each and every line of the whisper. And uh, sometimes they'll try to separate it, like they'll put a space like that, trying to keep it. System, or apps from catching it. Well in this case it tells it to ignore the spaces because you know these spammers have gotten really good at what they do. Now the original setup of this was just this right here. I added this part which tells it to look for anything coming in that says 1000. Uh, unfortunately if you get somebody whispering you saying they'll give you a thousand gil for something I uh, can't help you there. I mean, you could just take that out and that eliminates it. Uh, but I pretty much got it all covered through all of their little extensions they use of the amounts. Uh, with this, 
Yeah. Uh, moving on. I've included the names of uh, more of the most popular ones that's, that you will get whispered by. Uh, the really popular ones is WTSGG and PVP Go with a zero and an O. Um, Bank of PVP, they have really tried to separate their name using PVP and then the heart. Well, by looking for Bank of PVP, because it is in their whisper every time, it eliminates it. And anything that says PVP, all caps, because that's what their domain is, is pvp.com. Uh, the, this is for each amount. That's how they always send it. They'll send it uh, 10,000K equals $50. Well, I don't want to eliminate the, the, the $50 part because you never know. Somebody might be whispering you to tell, tell you how much they paid for their game or how much they paid for something on the store or something. And I don't want you to have to miss that whisper because of that fact. Um, uh, overall, it, they're called regular expressions. I would pull up the page, but it it, it would take a long time to explain it. It's uh, you can get to it yourself and be able to read up on it if you want. Um, I encourage anybody that if you take this and extend it more, please, please share in a comment on the YouTube video or click the link to go straight to the forum um, where you can actually post uh, as a registered user. Um, you just have to be a registered user of Guild Work, not a member of the company. Uh, once you uh, include that, just click Save and done. It automatically updates the client and everything as it's running. Now, once you do that, uh, go ahead and go in game. I have been sitting in game for the past uh, four or five hours. I wanted to make sure this worked before I made this video and I'm very satisfied. So we're going to go ahead and go into game and I will show you what's going on. As you could tell, there is no whispers. All of this is from the uh, Guildwork app. Just let me know about fates in the areas I'm in. Uh, the haunts that's going on when they're located. Uh, keep scrolling up. And up and up and up. <laughs> And as you can see, there are no whispers. Uh, the last whisper I got was well over four or five hours ago. And it's right about uh, longer than that, maybe. Nope. We should be coming up to it soon. There we go. That's the last one I received before I hit save. And that's been over four or five hours ago. I'm very impressed with this. Um, now, as you can tell, when you do save it on the Guildwork site, it shows you in game if you're logged in at the same time. Settings have been updated. Uh, for anybody who's wondering, using the Guildwork app is not against uh, terms of service or terms of use for Final Fantasy XIV because Guildwork only reads the files, it does not. Uh, hack them, interact with them in any other way. It does not uh, try to alter them. It just reads what's coming into the chat logs or through the um, API that's provided by Square Enix. Okay, so with that nifty little feature, I'm going to leave you with your thoughts and your wonders, and I will bid you farewell. Until next time, you will see probably another video on more guild work features as I discover them and fine-tune them for uses just like this.